This shelter provides the animal with isolation and rest and turns it invisible to its enemies. Its home is heavy and forces the caterpillar to move slowly, but this also contributes to its invisibility. Its sleeping bag protects the caterpillar wherever it goes. There are other lucky beings that have not worked much for their mobile homes. They were born with them, and their homes have grown with them. Such a practical chassis is so safe and comfortable that it could not escape human eyes. There's no doubt that a travel home is comfortable. It allows you freedom, and you can sleep or feed anywhere, away from other people, the same goals as ours. However, none of these systems is more important than the wheel. This invention is incorporated in all kinds of vehicles because the advantage of a revolving circumference is that there are no edges to hinder its progress. Although legs are more useful than wheels for animals, it's also true that pushing a round object is better than hauling any other geometric form. Hundreds of dung beetles may meet over a large elephant stool, and they all have the same goal. Therefore, it's very important to be fast and get a piece of the pie. Then the faster they run to hide their loot, the more possibilities they have of surviving. These beetles are coprophages. They feed on other animals' stool. Well, somebody has to do it. They're not going to eat these balls, however. They're going to lay their eggs in them, and their larvae will feed on them. This beetle is not an expert, as the shape of its ball shows, but it has found a place to hide it. The beetle digs a hole and lays an egg inside the dung ball. Let's hope the next generation is better at shaping balls. It seems that nature has not given the same things to all land species. Some species do not have legs to move, but they move really well. How do they do it? Well, they may slide. Slugs left the water some millions of years ago. They changed their gills for lungs, but they still depend on water. In fact, to avoid dehydration, they are forced to secrete mucus continuously to cover their bodies. This substance is able to absorb humidity from the air. And when the mucus is produced under its foot, it creates a film to slide on. When two moving pieces come into contact, they'll wear down and break each other. To prevent damage and facilitate sliding, man makes use of synthetic lubricants. Slugs develop that idea with the best material. Without their lubricant, 
the friction against the ground would damage their bodies so much that they would wear out. Like an eraser wears out. The mucus they secrete works as a lubricant and minimizes friction. The forward movement is generated by continuous foot muscle contractions from end to head. Mucus and contractions result in an extraordinary way of moving that we have copied in our most modern escalators. Our devices and our lubricants, however, generate serious pollution problems. While the slug's lubricants have an aquatic origin, they're clean and ecological. Snakes don't have extremities either and must also slither on the ground. However, they don't need any lubricants. They don't slide and don't suffer friction damage. Hard, polished scales cover them. Their scales protect them from friction and are a part of their way of moving. If we watch carefully, we can see that their scales provide them with points of support for each new contraction. The scales also prevent the snake from falling back when it's climbing. Each scale gets caught on the projections in the ground. We have copied this system in our caterpillar tractors. Over muddy or loose terrains where wheels would get stuck, caterpillar traction works perfectly. Snakes may lack extremities, but they move really well over branches, earth, and water. The ophidian way of moving is so practical that evolution has also given it to this species of lizards. They lost their extremities in order to be able to use the same fluid movement of their envied and scaly relatives. It's true that primitive reptiles had a lot of time to evolve, and some of them are really special when moving. The Draco volans, the flying dragon, is very good at climbing and has developed a membrane that allows it to fly. This strange animal, half lizard, half bat, knows the gliding technique well but it is plants that use wind best to move from one place to another without any energy costs. Plants fly at two different stages. First, pollen must be spread to successfully fulfill the need for fertilization and genetic crossing. In the second stage, seeds must spread as far as possible to colonize new habitats. The highest trees take advantage of seasonal air currents. Thanks to the wind, new lives will germinate in places where they don't have to fight with their progenitors for a ray of sunlight or for water. To make the trip, the seeds of each plant family have undergone certain adaptations until they became efficient gliding devices that move away from their starting point.